So, two things. One, I'm back on the road. As you can probably tell, because I slept at this uh, gas station slash Denny's travel stop last night, um, which is where I'm filling out my water. And I'm actually only temporarily on the road because I'm flying home in a few days back to Maryland for Thanksgiving and then uh, flying back out here to start my trip across country from California to Maryland. So I'm definitely excited for that. And then the second piece of news is I got this folding electric e-bike that fits almost perfectly. I told you guys I was cleaning out the back of my van so that I could fit my bike back there. And it fits almost perfectly. I got a couple inches on the top. I got no inches on the sides. We got it to work. So today I'm driving out into the middle of the California desert uh, to take this bike and try it, put it to the test and take it off road and see how it works. And we're also gonna finally get into some non-stealth camping out in the wilderness, which is fun. But uh, I definitely needed to fill my water tank up because if you guys can see, my dishes are piling up in the sink. I've never had that many dishes in my sink because I've been trying to conserve water. So I haven't been able to do them. But now that I'm filling my water tank, I'll be doing those tonight. So I also have uh, the e-bike e -bike battery charging. So you can take the uh, battery out of the bike and uh, just plug it in to this charger right here. So I charged it fully last night, but I can take it out and charge it right here. And then when I'm ready to use it, it just slides right back into the bike and it's super easy. So that's really nice. But right now we are leaving our lovely gas station parking lot for the night and heading out to the middle of the desert. I think it's like 45 minutes away. Find a campsite tonight on some BLM land, so I'm excited to finally be getting out of the city and back into the wilderness. It was pretty cold last night. Got down to like 35 degrees, but if I had to guess, it was only like 55-ish in the back of the van, so it wasn't too bad. So I didn't turn on my heater, one, because I haven't fixed the leak in the diesel tank yet, and two, I just didn't feel like I needed it. And I probably won't fix it until I fly back to the van and uh, start my trip across the country. But let's go find a campsite for the night. It's just on this little dirt road just off the highway that's over there um, the only thing i'm worried about back here and every time i pull into one of these spots in the desert is that it's just going to be a bit too sandy but it looks good so far we'll see how the uh, actual campsite pull out looks but worst case we got to go find somewhere else so i think this is where we're going to pull up into for our uh campsite for the night so there is a uh, little fire pit right there on the ground so i'm just going to pull around and kind of park right up next to that fire pit. All right. So, it's not really much. There really isn't that much here. I mean, you can still see the highway. Like the highway's right there, but we're far enough away to where the noise isn't that bad. And we got these like hills in front of us directly where the highway is. Other than that, it's basically just a dirt lot in the middle of the California desert that we're gonna be calling home for the night. So this wasn't actually planned, but the uh, the way that the e-bike fits in the back of the van, it's almost like it was built for being put in a van because the battery just slides in super easily. So like the battery goes in the back of the e-bike right here. So when I'm done riding, I can easily just slide the battery out, go charge it, and then when I'm ready to ride, it just slides back up in there super easily and I'm ready to go. It's definitely not bad, definitely not too heavy. And there she is. So setting it up is actually pretty easy too. It just kind of all of these parts unfold out. The handlebars go right in. They just slide in, latch down, and then you just kind of unfold it. Oh God, like that. And then latch it closed and you're ready to go. I think before I actually go take it out on its first ride, there's a sand tornado over there. 
I'm gonna go get changed because I'm wearing shorts and Birkenstocks and it's actually pretty cold out. So I'm gonna put on some sweatpants and a little bit warmer clothes. All right, there we go. Dressed up a little warmer. You know, I had to put the uh, merch hoodie on. So make sure you guys go check out my website, pick up some merch. I got hoodies, t-shirts and a bunch of other stuff. Um, we also put some sweatpants on and then you guys know I love my Birkenstocks. So we just put on some nice warm socks on the Birkenstocks. Now we're ready to ride. I wonder how fast this thing can go. I guess it can go pretty fast. All right, so when I was setting up for that stupid bit that I did driving by the camera, um, I drove down that road down there a little bit and there's these really washed out kind of sandy bumps. So I'm gonna take it down there and try to jump it because why not? Um, I don't really think this bike is meant for off-road. I just wanna put it to the ultimate test, see what it can handle. So that's where we're going. But I also got this cup holder right here that I installed on the bike uh, like two days ago, right after I got the bike. So we're gonna put this cup of coffee in there that's kind of half full and see how well it holds up driving off-roads. So then you just slide it in there. Slide in there far. All right, let's put this thing to the test. Looks like there's other people coming out of their camp too. I think this is like a big campground area for off-roading and stuff like that, so we'll probably run into people occasionally. But I'm gonna wait for him to pass, and then we're gonna head down that road. All right, so I think those people have driven by far enough, so let's go see what this thing can do. Oh! Oh, oh, there goes the cup. I'll pick that up on my way back. It's really sandy too. Oh God. Oh, whoa, okay. Oh, the cup holder didn't hold up. I got coffee all over my sweatpants, so these are gonna have to be washed. All right, so I think now I'm gonna take it on this kind of smoother paved road and just ride down kind of that way a little bit and just explore this area. Bike is pretty good. It's really fast. We're hitting 17 miles an hour right now. It's not too uncomfortable because it's got suspension on it. And on these like smoother sections, it's actually pretty nice. All right, so I think this road just continues back, back into more wilderness. So I don't think it's really worth it to keep going down it. So I'm gonna turn around, head back to the van and maybe try to hit some off-roading on the way back too. Ooh. So I was trying to be a little bit too cool and come to a uh, like a screeching stop there at the end, but ended up just crashing. So I think it's time to uh, head back to the van and make some lunch. And there she is. Home sweet home. Beautiful. That was a lot of fun. Also, don't worry. I went back to pick up my cup that I dropped. Don't want a litter. But yeah. I think I gotta get changed out of these uh, sweatpants because they are just speckled in coffee now all over both of the legs. So I'm gonna get changed out of those and make some lunch and then uh, set up camp. There we go. All nice and clean back in the uh, original clothes I was wearing when I got here. I'm actually really excited to uh, get to use this bike and uh, explore places a lot more because it kind of just opens up so much more freedom to be able to go out and explore like the areas that I'm camping in because before if I wanted to go anywhere I had to take the van which means I had to be all packed up and ready to go and when you're camping out like this it's kind of a pain to do that so super excited to have this and be able to take this on adventures when I'm in cities when I'm out in places like this and just to be able to explore more so I don't think I'm going to set up a full camp because I'm only staying here for tonight and I will be heading out tomorrow so basically I'm just going to throw a chair out there and uh, call that camp. So dishes are done, lunch is made, bike has been ridden. It's really nice to be back in the outdoors in the relative uh, 
peace and quiet. Only thing you can really hear is the highway, but not too bad. I will say though that when you live in a van, you definitely go through ebbs and flows of wanting to stay in the city, wanting to stay in the wilderness, and it kind of like goes back and forth. When you stayed in the city for too long, you want to go out in the wilderness. When you stayed in the wilderness too long, you want to go back in the city. And there's definitely pros and cons to each, but I do think I like being out in the wilderness more than I do with the city. It just feels so much more free. I feel like sometimes I'm the only person on earth and it's nice. But I do enjoy staying connected and having service. And uh, this spot has four bars of Verizon and four bars of AT&T, so I should be able to play some video games tonight and uh, watch a movie. And I did end up getting the new Warzone downloaded. And some of my buddies texted me and said they're going to be on tonight, so I'll probably hop on that later and play with them. But for now, I'm just going to enjoy my uh, winter, because it's kind of late, it's kind of a lunch dinner. And taking the sunset hanging out outside while it's still a little bit warm, because it is supposed to get pretty cold tonight. According to my weather map, it's supposed to get down to 35 degrees. I don't know if you guys will be able to see that, but... Supposed to get down to 35 at 6 a.m., so enjoying the warmth while it's here. All right, so I had to change into something a little bit warmer because it's uh, getting kind of cold out, but sun is setting, it's starting to get dark out. A uh, bunch of ATVs drove by earlier through like on that like sandy dirt road and like blew this like fine layer of like dust up into the van, which kind of sucks, but I think before it gets completely dark out i'm gonna get the bike all folded up and put away and then be ready to kind of hunker down for the night it also comes with this little uh key that you kind of have to stick it in the bottom right here and then twist it like that and that kind of unlocks the battery and that's also how you turn the bike on so that it can power up so someone tries to steal and they don't have the key they won't be able to use the uh bike at all which is nice unlock the battery pry this little thing open this little handle and then the battery just slides out and it's ready to charge for the next time so super nice getting cold out it is significantly warmer inside the van though than it is outside and as i kind of hang out in here move around it'll get like warmer and warmer and i actually bought these little pillows so you guys know how i was uh planning to insert that pink foam right here. I found these little pillows online that you can just stick up in here and they have Velcro on the sides. I found though that if you just jam them in there, they don't really need Velcro. So I'll put these up tonight as well to uh, keep the heat in and we should be fine. And then once it starts to get really cold and I'm driving across the country, I'll get that heater fixed so I can use it, but I should be fine tonight. It's only 60 degrees in here. There we go. Doesn't look pretty, but it works. Way better than that pink stuff would have worked. And I'll leave this back one open just to get some airflow. I'll leave the uh, vent fan open but off. I just don't like to be trapped in the box with like no airflow at all. So I did sweat a bunch today, so I feel kind of gross. I showered yesterday, so it's not too bad. Um, but I think tonight, since it's cold out and I don't have hot water anymore, I'm just gonna wipe myself down with one of these so I feel a little bit less disgusting. It's like a uh, dude shower it's basically just a gigantic baby wipe that you just kind of wipe your skin down with to get that like layer of grime off so i'm gonna do that and then uh probably hop on some xbox and i bet you my hair looks absolutely crazy i need a haircut so bad i have a buddy back home that cuts hair so every time i go back i just get a haircut from him Whew. There we go. Feeling much better. All cleaned off, changed up. Now let's see if we can get in a couple games of Warzone. Oh. All right, let's see who's on. You ready to play some uh, Warzone? I actually do have a, I actually do have pretty good service right now. Uh, my ping was like 40, so not really lagging too bad at all, which is pretty good. Got him. You guys see him? He's down, one down. Oh, that wasn't bad, 16th place. Um, Caleb, I think you have to back us out. Oh no, I'm, I'm the party leader. I'm gonna melt him, he's so close. Down one, over here. Downed him. Down another one. Down myself, but I got him down. Revive me. <laughs> Cracked one, down one. Got him. Team wipe. Or no, not team wipe. I got two, though. 
Down another. Team White. Let's go! First Warzone win. That's how we do it. All right, so we just got off playing Xbox. I uh, got wrecked a bunch of times. We ended up getting one win, so that was nice. But I'm kind of hungry now, so I think I'm going to make the last of my pickle soup. I made uh, I made a second round of it the other night, so this is like the last bowl that I have. So I'm going to warm that up really quick, and I'll give you guys a little bit of uh, perspective for why I stay in the van at night when I'm parked in places like this. So I'll turn on the uh, main lights, and then I'll open my door and I'll turn them off, and you'll see how dark it is outside. So I don't know how much you guys are going to be able to see, but you can kind of see the ground, and then kind of the highway off in the distance, but if I turn off all these lights, it is just complete, this is outside right now. It is just complete blackness. I don't know if you guys can see the stars or anything. I'm moving the camera around, but it is unbelievably dark out, which is why I like to stay in the van at night because it is creepy. excited for this. Nothing better than hot soup and tea on a cold night. And if you guys haven't already, you've got to try out this tea. It's the best tea that I think I've ever had in my entire life. It's the glazed lemon loaf Tazo tea. So good. Anyways, here's the last of the pickle soup. Cheers. So hot. Let me know what you guys, uh, Want me to cook in my next video? I want to cook something that I've never cooked before. So if you have any weird dishes or something cool that I can cook, let me know. Leave it in the comments below. And maybe I'll cook it in my next video. But I'm probably just going to hang out in the van for the rest of the night. Maybe play some more Xbox, watch a movie, and then uh, go to bed. And then it's off to the next campsite. So as always, I appreciate you guys coming and hanging out. If you haven't already, make sure you click that subscribe button. And I will catch you guys next time.